hashtag hallelujah. What's up guys, my name is Phoebe Demise and this is the Gab House where everything in my life goes down. I hope that you are loving on yourself, leading yourself and hanging out with eagles. Today I'm going to be doing a tiny quick video about healing because I've just been to a conference and I've got loads of things going on but I just wanted to put this out there so that anybody out there who wants to pray for healing knows phrasing they can use. I, I'm a believer, I believe the New Testament, I believe it when people say they've been healed, I believe it that God called us to healing. The Bible literally says to heal. Where's my Bible? Where is my Bible? This bad boy, I've got this really cool thing in the back called a concordance, which your Bible might have. Basically, when you want to look up stuff, for example, I'm like, I want to look up healing. You just go look for H. Healing. There's loads of stuff on healing. Yeah, do I want it to be chill. I want it to be chill, babe. Um, but what is important for me, I think... You're right there, mate. <laughs> what is important, I think, about this is the bit when it's called the great... Okay, I, I, you said you'd make a bit of, like, family noise. <laughs> so, guys, in the Bible, it literally talks about healing. If we go to Matthew 10, Jesus sent out the 12 disciples. His eagles were clearly the 12 disciples. Jesus said, go and announce to them the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy, cast out demons, give as freely as you have received. Hashtag hallelujah. What I'm trying to say is... Literally, we're called to heal. We're called to carry the presence of heaven. I have um, written two ways you can pray. There are other people that I've heard pray and seen healing. So we were at this conference called Sounds of Glory on the weekend. So Julian Adams says to expect that healing is happening in the room, right? And then he says, so, Lord, we take the authority of sickness. In the name of Jesus, I speak to the pain. We say, be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name, and now we declare life. Holy Spirit, come. I release this as a demonstration of the miraculous right now. Okay, everybody, test it out. Test it out. Test it. God, I just pray that someone in the world right now is healing. One of my neighbours, God, has just got healing. Father, amen. That is one way you can do it. Another way you can pray. My sister, Megan, has a great way. I was at a small group once, and there was a lady with an eye problem. And I was like, Megan, how do I pray? I text her, I said, Megan, how can I pray for this woman? And so she sent me back this amazing, amazing thing. She said, Jesus told us not to just pray for the sick, but to heal them. You have the authority. When Jesus went back and left the Holy Spirit, he left us with the authority. She says, I lay hands on them and I say, pain, leave. I tell the sickness that it has no authority. And then I ask heaven to come. And always, always pray in the name of Jesus. In this particular case, she says, um, ask where the pain is on a scale of 1 to 10 and celebrate every slight change, even if it's not a dramatic change. Do not be afraid to go and ask if someone has been healed. It's so funny, we doubt ourselves so much, don't we? And leave the person feeling loves. If they weren't healed, it wasn't because they didn't have enough faith. It's no excuses. Sometimes God is still working in them and we just don't understand the mystery of God. So hopefully those are two kind of ways. I will write them down for you and put them in the link below. You are wonderful and truly loved and beautiful and you are my princess. So thank you princesses for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.